emotions right now very high um all we can do is just sit and wait and pray and just wait for more answers to come towards us other than that it's very emotional family members of isabella kalua who would have turned seven years old last week emotional wednesday evening after learning her adoptive parents allegedly murdered her kalua's remains have not been located Honolulu police investigators promise they're searching for more answers. We have never stopped our investigation. Ariel was never forgotten. Did the system fail her? And were there enough signs for her to have been taken out of, like, taken out of that home uh, earlier? Honolulu City Council member Esther Kiaaina, who represents Kalua's hometown of Waimanao, commends HPD's investigation efforts, but questions whether government agencies could have done more to prevent the alleged murder. According to HPD, Kalua was adopted in the last year or two. Once adoptions are completed, the CWS involvement in the case kind of scales way back, so they're not conducting the same level of checks or things like that uh, that they would prior to an adoption. The government is there. Uh, to provide for mechanisms to ensure that our safe are safeguarded. I'm not quite sure if those processes were found. And so we all have a collective responsibility to do that. The island of Oahu is best known for the pink Sheridan on Waikiki Beach, that pink hotel, and the timelessness of it is just incredible. When I'm on the island of Oahu, I feel like I'm in paradise with diamond head in the background as I sit on Waikiki Beach. It's literally heaven on earth. However, not quite, because even heaven on earth seems to have evil. Welcome to Left Undone Incomplete Investigations. I'm Catherine. was born to Melanie Joseph and her former boyfriend six years ago. They lost custody due to their drug abuse issues. Four years ago, Ariel went to live with a foster family, Isaac and Lahua Kalua, on the island of Oahu in their home. She was officially adopted by the foster family back in January, and she was given a new name of Isabella Kalua. Her birth name is Ariel Sellers, and she was still being referred to as Ariel. Her three siblings had also been adopted by the same family. The children had all been previously fostered in that home. Ariel's seventh birthday was this past week. She had attended kindergarten virtually from her home at the local elementary school, but her adoptive parents decided back in June that they were going to homeschool her, so they actually filed paperwork to do so. The adopted father, his name is Isaac Kalua. He's 52 years old, and he works at the Pearl Harbor Naval Shipyard in Honolulu. He is a convicted felon. He had been previously convicted of crimes of violence, assault, and terroristic threatening. The mom, Lahua, She's 43. Now, they reported Ariel missing on September 13th, 2021. Ariel is three foot, three inches tall, six years old, weighs 46 pounds. They said she was wearing a black hoodie, leggings, colorful socks, and Nike sliders with pink bottoms. The family had already had CPS investigating them in the recent past. There are other children in the home. Allegedly, there were two injuries of the children that were suspicious. On October 2019, there was a broken finger, and the family said it was due to the finger being slammed in a door. And there was actually a delay in reporting this and seeking care. And then there was another incident of a broken leg that was said to have been injured when the child was jumping on a trampoline. Now, these were deemed suspicious, and local CPS did get involved. After their investigation, however, there was found to be no maltreatment in either case. 
The adopted parents did wind up reporting Ariel missing on September 13th. They said they last saw her in her bedroom the night before, which would have been September 12, 2021. They said they saw her in, her, in their home on Palua Street in her bed at about 9 p.m. But when they woke up on the next morning, September 13th at 6 a.m., Ariel was missing. The family's attorney had told reporters that Isabel, Ariel, had a history of wandering outside and sleeping in the yard at night. He also said that the door alarm signaled she left the house. Now, during the first week of Ariel going missing, her bio family organized search efforts throughout East Oahu, and they had many community volunteers helping them search for Ariel. Now, there's some reports that they may have found a backpack during the search, as well as a bag of toys and slippers in a riverbed. The search for a missing six-year-old girl is now in its second day. Police, family, friends, even complete strangers joined in on the search, rallying together for one goal or with one goal in mind. That's to bring Isabella home. Max Rodriguez spent the day in Waimanalo and joins us with the latest. This is day two of the search of six-year-old Isabella, also known as Ariel, the name given to her by her biological parents. Hundreds of people joining the search, not giving up hope in finding the little girl. By foot. Ariel! And by air. Isabella, Ariel, Ariel, come out. A non-stop search for six-year-old Isabella Kalua, or Ariel Sellers, the name given to her at birth. We're going to continue the search as long as we need to. These nights, we're going to continue until we find her or until we hear anything. And, you know, all we, all we can hope for is the best, pray for the best. And, you know, we ask if you know something, hear something, see something, say something. Auntie Jamie flew in from Maui as soon as she heard of Isabella's disappearance. People from all over the island also joining the surge. This mom from Hawaii Kai felt the need to help the family. I don't know the family, but as a mother, I know how Hawaii is and the community always surrounds each other. So I have a 17 year old and a 21 year old daughter and I know people would come out and help. And so I was compelled to come out and help search for her today too. They searched all day Monday and have not stopped ever since. She's not a wanderer. So this is very, surprising me to us out of out of character she says she has a lot of unanswered questions but right now their focus is finding isabella leaving no stone unturned dozens of family and community members rushed into this area of bellows based on a tip a family member received but they are not yet sharing with us military police soon after joining the search at bellows the truth will come out and it will come out soon because the heat is hot in Waimanalo. It's super hot and we're coming. I was able to speak briefly with the adoptive or foster parents last night and they tell me they were told not to talk to media by investigators. In the meantime, police are asking neighbors to check their yards and areas in the property where a child could hide. They also asked to look through the surveillance. The other children, Ariel's sisters, ages 12, 3 and 1, had been removed after Ariel went missing. This was done under the direction of the Honolulu Police Department. Now there's some confusion why the bio family relatives didn't assume custody instead of the Kalua family. The birth mom, Melanie Joseph, said she last saw Ariel over a year ago and did notice bumps on her head, two swollen fingers, and arms bruised. As of November 10th, 2021, there has been an arrest. Ariel has not been found. Her body has not been found. But the adoptive parents have been arrested. Jen, the arrests of Isabella's adoptive parents come after an intensive investigation by the Honolulu Police Department and the FBI. Max Rodriguez joins us with more. Max? Joe, that's right, and police telling me that this remains an extremely active investigation with major developments connected to evidence with the case. All of this happening in the last week or so, 
leading police to the arrest of the adopted parents, Lehua and Isaac Kalua. From a missing person's case to a murder investigation, Isabella's adopted parents, Lehua and Isaac Kalua, arrested and charged with second degree murder. Based on the investigation conducted by the homicide detail, we believe that Ariel was murdered sometime in the middle of August 2021 by her adopted parents, Lehua and Isaac Kalua. HPD says due to the investigation, they cannot go into detail about the timeline of her alleged murder. We'll put it this way, we can't find any cooperating witnesses um, who are going to tell us that they've seen her after them, that we can substantiate that, right? The FBI helping HPD enter into this new phase of the criminal investigation. Yes. Uh, in the last week to 10 days, some evidence has come to light, again, with, with the significant help of the FBI Behavioral Analysis Unit. Police say the initial statements by the adopted family were false. Police say evidence shows it was the Kaluas involved and no one else. We had a missing person, which was not a criminal case at that time, so we had to build our probable cause to get to that criminal case in order for us to do that, to get a search warrant for the premises or any other search warrant. As to what's, what's next with this arrest, police say both adopted parents Lehua and Isaac Kalua will remain in police custody at least until their first court hearing appearance that's likely to happen sometime this week. Reporting live, Max Rodriguez, KH12 News, working for Hawaii. The mom, Lehua, age 43, was taken into custody on suspicion of second degree murder at her home in a dramatic FBI police raid. November 10th. Let's watch. And adopted father, Isaac, who goes by the nickname Sonny, again, he's age 52, he was arrested on the same charge at Pearl Harbor Naval Shipyard where he works. The adoptive parents had initially said that she left the house in the middle of the night, but after the authorities reviewed multiple surveillance videos from the area, they determined that this information was false. They are in jail now without bail. Anyone who had seen or maybe had interactions with Ariel or her sisters between 2019 and August of 2021 should call Crime Stoppers. The property of this family is currently being searched. They were out there today and yesterday searching the Kalua's family's property. Flashbangs rock the neighborhood just before 7.30 Wednesday morning as heavily armed officers from HPD's Specialized Services Division stormed the Waimanalo home. Officers emerged with Lehua Kalua, the adoptive mother of six-year-old Isabella Ariel Kalua, who was reported missing on September 13th. Kalua was taken in handcuffs from the scene, but the work for investigators was just beginning for the day. HPD brought in canine units, equipment to search the property, and items to collect evidence. Lehua Kalua's husband, Isaac, was arrested at his job at Pearl Harbor. For the biological family of the girl, this was a turning point in their persistent effort to get answers. Heavy on the heart, um, scared, um, happy, 
happy meaning um, it's a start. Just overwhelmed. Um, we don't know why or what's been taking place. We just know that, yes, people were taken under arrest. Um, they are currently raiding the house. For us, this is just a start. Maybe it's answers to something. We just wanted something. Signs along the fence of the Kalua home show the frustration family, friends and community members felt after the girl disappeared as weeks went by without information from police. I'm Lynn Kawano, Hawaii News Now. The news conference was held, stated that they believe that the parents are the only people involved and they do believe they have sufficient evidence to charge them with murder. We will continue to follow this case. Thank you for watching Left Undone, Incomplete Investigations. I'm Catherine 